Hello, welcome back to Speed Build Monday. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. If you're not new here, or I mean, really, frankly, if you are new here as well, don't forget to like. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hopefully you know. Uh, but anyways, the unfortunate thing about this video is that I kind of messed it up a little bit. I was half asleep when I did it, so... Things that should have been cut out were left in, and things that should have been left in got cut out. Uh, I'm really sorry about that, but I do do a full walkthrough at the end, so at least you have that to watch. Um, I almost didn't include that, but at the last minute I had a few extra minutes, and it really, especially a smaller lot like this, it really only takes me maybe about 10 minutes to film a walkthrough real quick. Uh, yeah, well, I could do better. So maybe, you know, like 15 minutes start to finish. This one was definitely a rushed one. Maybe not my best again, but in my defense, I forgot that we were going to be busy Sunday and Monday. So this whole video was rushed. But I got it done, and I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Um, and I'm really, really proud of this a lot. It turned out really, really pretty. I love the whole aesthetic of it. It just, it's my vibe right now. It, like, all the colors, the whole overall feeling, it's my vibe right now. So, um, I'm just really in love with this lot. The unfortunate thing about it, though, is that it came in at around 42 to 43,000 simoleons. So, it's a little too expensive for the neighborhood. Um, yeah, I, do, I don't know... If you want to see a base game version of this or how I would change it, because I forgot, I completely forgot to do a base game version of this. And, and also because I was rushed for time, I just like was rushing through everything. The unfortunate thing though is that I used a ton of packs on this one. I didn't even mean to. I wasn't thinking. I was just going along with what felt good to me and I just wasn't even thinking. So if you would like me to attempt to make this base game compatible um, as much as is humanly possible, let me know in the comments or, you know, shoot me a message on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or wherever. Um, I'm thinking about either starting a Tumblr or something for this save file as well uh, so that people have a place to download the entire file when it's finished with the families and everything and all the lots already in place every, and everything so that it's easier, at least for PC users, but then also have an information page with links to The Sims 4 Gallery for um, console users to look up to know exactly what lots, if they want to recreate, and families. I always forget the family part, but to recreate uh, the save file on their games if they want, um, or on their consoles if they want, I mean. Uh, I don't know how else to do it for console players. If anybody knows a way to do it for console players, let me know other than that. Uh, but yeah, I'll have like a website with everything links to everything so you can see exactly what lots uh and the lots have oh maybe i don't sometimes i don't include like i change the lot names maybe i'll have a website that i'll include exactly which lot like the original lot name where the lots belong at as well for console players to make it easier 
Um, the one thing that I've been forgetting to mention is some of these more recent builds I have not been putting families in immediately. I thought that I would do a bunch of the builds first and then go back and add families into some of the homes afterwards. But I don't want to fill up every house and I don't want to fill up every lot either. I only want like maybe about half of the lots to be filled um, with families. And I'd like to leave, you know, maybe, well, I guess maybe just one or two empty lots per world possibly where I don't make any builds of my own. Although, I don't know, I, what do people prefer? Do they, do people prefer the save files to be completely 100% filled up? I don't know. I think if it were me, I'd want it to be 100% filled up. I think that's what I would want. I would want to have a few empty houses, like a couple of starter houses, a couple of family houses, a couple of mansions, um... So that I could just move my sims in and play. But I think I would want every single lot to be full. I don't know. Again, leave it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I am open to suggestions. And, um, and I'm also, again, as a reminder, open to suggestions as to whether or not people would like to work on another save file after this that is just base game and base game uh, slash world specific pack. So like working in, what is it, Glimmerbrook? It would just be base game and the Realm of Magic pack. Working in Forgotten Hollow, it would be base game and vampires pack, you know, that kind of thing. Um, if you want to see something like that, or when I'm done with the save file, or even if we just need to take a break from the save file, because I feel like that could happen at some point, um, I can work on just a whole bunch of base game builds that you can then go in and decorate with little bits and bobs from whatever expansion packs or kits or whatever that you have too. Oh, we could work on it together on stream. Come check out my Twitch streams. You know, I am open to suggestions. <laughs> I just go where the inspiration takes me. But if somebody else wants to see something different, I am all for it. You just let me know in the comments. Um, but uh, did I mention this is one of my favorite lots of my save file so far? It is. I I mixed so many packs, but it just turned out so pretty that this is my favorite or one of my favorite lots so far. Um, I did do a walkthrough, so we're going to get to that here in just a second. I hope I didn't ramble too much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe again, and I'll see you in the next one.